What is going on, Rebels and Rebelettes? Welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold. Wait, what? Sorry, Soul Silver Egglock. I'm blind Heart Gold. Fuck, man. Luke is way better, anyways. Anyways, I'm gonna go get my number one fan. I'm not gonna. Edit, I'm not gonna edit this out because if you don't have, if I don't, if I'm not getting the number one fan in shot, it's literally the coolest thing ever. <laughs> get it? Coolest thing ever. Keeps me cool. Anyways, guys, welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Soul Silver Egglock. Last episode, we made our way down to uh, Mahogany Town, and let me get a little closer to my mouth. Kaka, kaka. All right, cool. Actually, sounds pretty good. Oh, very nice. Okay, but yeah, in the last episode, we made our way down to Mahogany Town. Um, we got a couple egg counters. Apparently, I named uh, Voltor my left nut instead of my left ball. I apologize for that, and. I told you guys to remind me in the comment section to go get Suicune, and that's exactly what we're what we're about to do. As far as grinding, um, pretty much everything's the same. I'm actually just going to. Oh fucking hell! Ugh. Forgot we need Surf, so I have to go all the way back. I totally forgot that I needed Surf. Like I ha I have the Pokemon for Cut, right? Like, while we're in the PC, I'll give you guys a real quick team update. Okay, so... Farfetch is on the team. I got rid of a uh, Fury Attack for Cut. Uh, we need to... We just need it temporarily. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the Pokemon in the PC. We're gonna encounter us. Uh, we can, you know, we're gonna go through all the story plot crap. I think the only Pokemon that we need to get... Have we gotten a Pokemon on the upper route yet? I'm not sure. Even if we haven't, I can always get it in the future. I know we've gotten an encounter in Mount Mortar before. I think we have actually got... Okay, I think we got an encounter in Route 42. I think we got an encounter in, in Lake of Rage. I think. I'm not sure, but, you know, if we didn't, I can always go back and we can always go do that later. So anyways, we're going to head on down and get... We're going to go encounter Suicune because Suicune is a marvelous and beautiful Pokemon. And because for one as well... I actually think we actually run into you seen. So that would be kinda cool. It looks like you cut down to cut it down. Yes, I would. Yeah, Farfetch is just kinda, is just gonna temporarily be the cut slave. Air Sweet Coon, what's up, Sweet Coon? Here comes you seen. Oh damn, mystical man you seen. He had a mystical man. That's me. Sweet Coon, how brave it is! How refreshing it is! How beautiful it is! There's so many weird things I will- wait. Hey, you've seen, buddy. Calm down, man. How cool it moves. Missy, you seem to be around everywhere Suicune would appear. I wonder why, because I'm cool and you're a fucking loser. I'm kidding. Well, my desire- well, that's okay. My desire to search for Suicune is far beyond yours. My grandpa was quite in the myths. I've heard so many stories about Suicune from him. Suicune, I won't stop following you until I've found out what you're after. You hear me? Bye, you seen. Bye, you seen. Bye, you seen. Professor Oaks call me. Oh, hello. You know, we can actually say what's up. Hello, this is Professor Oak. You're catching a lot of Pokemon, aren't you? Really? You, you you wasted 20 seconds of fucking egg lock time just to tell me that. Fuck you. Actually, how many Pokemon do we have in the Pokedex anyways? 34. Fuck. Uh, I don't want your number, you fucking ped. Go away. Yeah, fuck you. Anyways, guys, we're here. We are live. We're we're we're, we're recording, obviously. So now, we I need to go to the PC. I need to get some Pokemon out, etc., etc. And after that, we can go talk about real life because I am in the mood to talk about real life. I'll tell you one thing right now, though, you guys. I did the best team for Hoenn today, and it's literally 10:50 right now, PM. And I'm just now recording the Egglock, okay? The video goes up tomorrow's Wednesday, right? Let's see. It goes tomorrow at 12 o'clock. I haven't really been able to record an Egglock episode because of how busy I am. The weekend, school, and everything else, it's like, oh, God. Like, freaking just... It's nuts. What? Okay, guys, my bad. <clears throat> Something interesting happened. Like, I pressed, like, a wrong key and the whole entire fucking computer just, like, went ballistic. Oh, uh, we can get an egg counter here from headbutting, huh? 
I'll get it later. So many friggin' counter encounters to get with like headbutt and stuff. I'm not sure if we got an encounter on this route. Um, have I battled this guy? Okay, I have not. Um, <clears throat> you know, I'm just gonna say that I did get an encounter on this route. I'm really not too sure if we have though. It's been a while since I played. You know, I I forget a lot of things. Urchin, right there. Yeah, we're talking about real life now. I got I, I've been sidetracked. I've been goofing off and doing everything else. And if we if we actually go through here, Team Rocket actually is gonna disturb me again. And the stupid target FPS thing, you can fuck off. Hold there, kiddo. The toll is ten dollars to go through. Thank you very much. I just want to show that on screen because it is possible, and because you know, just in case we did we did encounter the Pokemon. I don't know if I'm battling you. No thanks. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and battle this guy real quick. My goal this episode is to try and evolve Alkais into a uh, into a Jinx, because Jinx is uh, pretty awesome. Okay, and actually, this guy right here. Okay, but funny thing is, is like these guys. I think. Wait, is this it? This guy. Pokemon, that's okay. But the guy that I just, I just battled, he actually mentions that uh, the rival actually makes fun of his Pokemon. And it's actually very, very funny. How, uh, how they actually like implement that in there because um, Silver in, in, the, in uh, the original like games and the remakes, you know, he, he's portrayed as kind of like a douche. And that's just how it goes. Uh, we can actually go get the Shiny Gyarados here, huh? Um, we'll count that as, like, a bridge encounter. Actually, no, that's actually a static Pokemon, so no. Technically not. Hmm. Well. <clears throat> if I were to go get... Gyarados... Do you have Intimidate? Kina. That sucks. Okay. Good to me. I'm fucking tired. I'm sorry, I'm yawning you guys. Okay, so I had to go off screen again to get Surf because HMs are so fucking important. HMs bug the crap out of me. Especially if you don't have like a Pokemon in your party, you have to go all the way back to the PC and it's just so freaking tedious. Okay, so I have to go capture this Gyarados. I haven't really been able to talk this episode because literally one story plot comes after the other. And I really, really like want to sit down and like, talk to you guys, but I don't think we're really going to have time for this episode because, because of certain kinds of stuff. So... I know Gyarados obviously has Intimidate. Our physical attack stat is going to drop. Valkyrie is too weak. Homura would die. Tesla would probably kill it. But I'm going to leave off a of Tesla anyways, because Tesla, I believe, does have Ice Fang, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, cool. So I'm not going to go for any electric type attacks because it's obviously going to die in one shot. Hold still. So hopefully, I'm pretty sure we have Pokeballs too. Please tell me that we have, we have Pokeballs, because I'm going to flip if we don't have Pokeballs. And yes, I will make whatever Pokemon we get in the PC shiny because of the red Gyarados. In fact, and I, I don't feel like writing it down now. That's too much work, and I'm trying to get ahead. You know, trying to, like, you know, stay, stay in flow with the episode a bit, because we're... A lot of mistakes have been happening today. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Going, I'm going to go for the Ice Fang. Calm down, tiger. I can only... I can only use three healing items per battle. So, technically, this does count as a battle. Got it. Okay. I'm freaking out there. I'm like, you know what? Like, I really do not feel like you... I, I don't feel like losing this thing, dude. Because, like, that would that, that would ultimately suck. <laughs> like, really, really fucking bad. And now we get to run into Lance. What's going on, Lance? The red Gyarados wasn't acting right, as I feared. Somebody must have forced it to evolve. Did you come here because of the wild tales? You're mystic. I'm Lance, a trainer like you. I heard some rumblings, so I came to investigate. 
I saw the way you battled earlier, Mystic. I can tell that you're a trainer with considerable skill. Well, thank you very much. Do, do I look good, by the way? I, I, I always look good. I'm kidding. I look awful. If you don't mind, could you help me investigate? Yeah, sure, why not? Excellent. Seems that Lake of Rage's magic are being forced to evolve. A mysterious radio broadcast coming from Mahogany is probably the cause. And that's a suspicious souvenir shop. I'll be waiting for you, Mahogany Mystic. Well, as much as I would love to continue this freaking episode, well, I, I am. But rather than me, we're gonna go get an egg counter. In Mahogany Town, we're gonna headbutt on a tree. And I'm also going to go check if we got an encounter in the last episode, but I want to continue with story, but because of everything that happened right now, you know what? We can go get the fucking encounter and we can continue the story. I thought I, I thought talking to you guys. Well, I don't know. Maybe here. What's this? What's this hip of the tree? You know what? Actually. What we'll do is, is rather than get egg counters this episode, because we've gotten a lot of egg counters lately, this episode I want to dedicate to story time. And after we're done with the mahogany hideout, I swear we will get, we'll get the egg counter in mahogany, we'll go to the town on the right, we'll get one on Route 43, we'll just get them all at once, that way we can dedicate one whole episode to getting egg counters. If you guys are cool with that, I hope you guys are, because that's what I want to fucking do. I want to get through story time, because you know what? We we need to make it further into the game. And I, I feel like it's okay. So, Dragonite, Hyper Beam. He's going to use Hyper Beam, and he's going to go, like, ten feet back. You sure that that wasn't takedown, buddy, or tackle? What took you so long, Mystic? This is, I thought, that strange radio signal is coming from here. He's basically just like, get the fuck out of the way, and he just like, moves out. This is right here. Mystic, we should split up to check this place. I'll go first. You do that, dude. Bye bye, Dragonite. Dra Dragonite's so cute. Pimp Knight is actually my favorite Poketuber. One of them. Top three. Liam being at Ace Turner, Liam being at one. Um, who's number two? I'm not sure who number two is. But you know what? We'll say Pimp Knight's two. Maryland, three. There we go. So Ace Turner, Liam, Pimp Knight, and Maryland. Cool people. Fun fact about me is. Um, <clears throat> Way back in the day, I actually used to be part of uh, Pimp Knight's um, live stream chat. Pimp Knight would go live on Twitch every Saturday morning, and back back in 2013. And before I started Poketuber, you know, I would go down there every single weekend, and we would have NU battles and everything. It it was just so much fun just to go down there, interact with Pimp Knight, you know, get get to meet some of the really, really cool people. Actually, fun fact, my buddy, Mr. Murkrow, <clears throat> I've actually known him since 2016. I don't know, 2013. Ever since, you know, I did, uh, you know, Pimp Nights uh, live streams in the morning. And a cool fact also, I also know a guy named uh, D-N. D-N, I believe. D-Y-A-N or D-Y-E-E-N. But he, he still uh, goes down there, and I still pop in on um, the old chat from time to time. Basically now, uh, Pimp Night actually has a... Uh, a special chat for people. Will I get that out? I don't know if I'm obligated to. I'm not sure if I can. I think I think it's only for like special people that used to be on it back in 2013. But I, you know, if it if it's available, you know, I'll I'll give it out. I'm not really not too sure though. But and sometimes you know he'll he'll join from time to time. But I haven't been there in a while, so I need to go down there and I, I need to see like what the, the bus is about. But yeah, you know, cool facts about me. I've 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 been Wi-Fi battle on since 2013. I may, I'm actually thinking about bringing a Wi-Fi battle on back to the channel. Whether or not I will, I have no idea. But you know what? We'll see. So I, I guess I'll do like a, a, a mini vote here. I mean, well, not necessarily like Wi-Fi battles. Maybe something like uh, free for alls or something. Because free for alls are usually a lot of fun to do. I know, I know you guys like like free for alls. Whether or not um, you know I'll do them, you know, as but. Got you guys got to vote for it first. No coughing, go fuck yourself. Yeah, I made it. <laughs> wait, 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 hang on. Why aren't I training Valkais? Shit. I said I was gonna evolve Valkais this episode, and I haven't even done it yet. Shit. Here, hold on a minute. I'll go do that. We'll um, we'll evolve Val Valkais this episode. I'm done to do that. <clears throat> oh, 
Another thing I also want to point out, and then the comments too that you guys point out to me, uh, the, the red skill from the red Gyarados. Go to Mr. Pokemon's house and um, go exchange those for uh, the XP share. I will do that. It's not right now, because I'm trying to evolve Alkais. Well, guys, please don't die. Raditz, uh, come on. Your Pokemon are pieces of crap. Give me a real challenge. Pieces of crap. So close. Okay. We are close to evolving Valkyrie. I believe Valkyrie actually evolves level 30. So I think after Valkyrie evolves, I think would actually be a good time for me to end up the episode. I apologize that, that the commentary isn't like as like fluid, you know, as like well, fluent, you know, smooth as like as it usually is because I had to cut this. I had to cut this out like twice because one, the screen went fucking blank, and I had to redo everything, retalk to you scene. Not to mention, I also had to go back and. Uh, <clears throat> Forget what, what was I gonna say again? I had to go back. Oh yeah, that's right. I had to go back and re, re nickname my left nut to my left ball again. And I I, I said to do like a bunch of like other things. It's it's such a pain in the butt. <sighs> like just it, it it's a headache. Like then I had to go back and go get surf and oh jeez, one episode that was. <clears throat> this has been. Let me you guys. Valkais is evolving in the Jinx, so... Jinx is happy. Well, actually, Swinchum's happy. I know you guys have been, like, bugging me to evolve Valkais, and I'm glad that I can finally I can finally actually do it. Definitely not one of the prettiest Pokemon out there. I'll definitely give you guys that much. But now we have Jinx, so... That's definitely better. Anyways, you guys... Oh, look at that. Actually, no, we have more, we have more fucking people to battle. So I guess I'll talk for a few more minutes. Like, no problem. Like, I'm cool with that. I don't even think I'm gonna be able to talk for that long because with me fat, you know, with me constantly fast forward in these battles, it's it's pretty quick. Okay, actually, no, that's it. Anyway, anyways, you guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and do all the other cool stuff. With all that being said, though, I've been Mr. Gumbrand, and I will see you guys <clears throat> getting sick. Air air conditioners on, fans on, uh, it's getting cold. Anyways, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode of our Pokemon Salsa Break Luck. Don't be sad.